Welcome to Stetson Talks. On today's show, we'll be talking about women's rights, and we have some special guests. Yes, this is a very important topic for all of us in media class, since we are all young women. We would like to welcome some of our favorite teachers. Hello and welcome, Ms. Grimes and Ms. Cooper. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Happy to be here. Let's get started with the questions. Maria has the first question. <laughs> what challenges are there growing up as the woman? Um, I think personally, when, when I was in middle school, I remember that's when um, social media became really big. And I think that was really challenging to try to navigate as a middle schooler, especially into high school, you know, because you see people post on social media. And I think it's even more influential today in, in you girls as you guys are going through middle school. Um, just like the idea of you have to be a certain way, you know, you see a certain version of a person and you think that's how you have to be. And just remember, you're your own person and that is you as a woman and don't let other people influence that. Wow, thank you. Christy has the next question. Why do you think women's rights are so important? I think of this question, I think of the fact that, you know, I think people don't realize or forget that women's rights just became a law like not like I think around 100 years ago so um you know we went a long time without having the right to vote and being seen as equals and I think it's a very slow process for everybody to be seen as equal you know you put a law in place but it takes years and years of actual actions um I will just say that I think women's rights are human rights women's rights um are important because women make up 50 percent of the population so um, having rights to vote, um, freedom to express ourselves, uh, and even the freedom of choice are all important um, just to let us women um, independently express ourselves. Hello, I'm Jalissa. My question is, do you ever feel uncomfortable when you get dressed in the morning? I mean, I think as men and women, you have to think, what am I dressing for? What occasion is it? What's appropriate? I mean, if you think about our handbook in general as a female or as a girl going to Stetson, I think the, the dress code is a little bit more, I don't want to say strict, but a little bit more um, descriptive just because there are so many do's and don'ts as a woman. And it's unfortunate because women are judged by their external appearance, um, maybe more than males, but don't forget, males are also judged for the same things that females are. So... Um, I agree that I'm not uncomfortable when I get dressed. I've I've learned to um, to embrace my own style. I feel uncomfortable. I would say myself. I feel uncomfortable getting dressed because I'm insecure. I uh, started. I have my insecurity started at a young age because uh, I went to actually gone to school. You know, and there's not or not every kid's gonna be nice and like is going to be nice to you, but I'm really insecure about my body, so like I'm just trying to watch what I wear because I don't want to be bothered. So I feel uncomfortable mostly because I know a lot of people, they expect you to have the perfect body, but not everyone does have the perfect body. Annalise, I think that gets a little bit easier as we get older. Um, I can honestly say that when I was a teenager, I had some body issues too, and maybe Miss Grimes did too. I think some women struggle with body issues for their whole life. Um, however, I think that as you age, you become more comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, I don't want you to kind of like demean your own style. If you want to wear something, then you wear it. You know, don't, I feel like maybe, maybe you'll set a trend, who knows? You know, so I feel like a lot of times you think, what are other people going to think about this? But if you feel good, if you look good, wear it. For me, as a quick Christian, I to wear skirts, not pants. And I also feel kind of uncomfortable because a lot of my, since I'm getting taller, a lot of my skirts are shorter than me and have a really hard time finding one that actually fits me. You will learn how to um, dress yourself even better as you age. And sometimes you find something that fits perfectly and other times it's too big, too small. No worries. Hello, my name is Indy Jos. My question is, do you think women are equal to men? No, I don't. I think we're different. I think all humans are very um, 
equal in that we each have the right to life and um, the opportunity for self-expression and to live to our best potential. I mean, that's the best way to put it because this question's hard because yes, you want to think yourself as equal and you have the same opportunities, but at the same time, we're all about being different. Thank you for this. Brianna has the next question. My question is, have you ever been denied an opportunity because you are a woman? The answer is plainly no. Um, I'm grateful that my education and my own um, personality has really foraged a lot of opportunities for myself. Um, however, I will say that um, I wish female athletes had stronger opportunities. Definitely agree with that. I feel like the pathway that I chose, the career in education, I feel like it is a majority of women. I think it's definitely more than half women. Um, but if I was to go into a different field and I was thinking of an athlete, I think it might have been a lot different. I actually, now that I think about it, think about, um, like, I don't know if you guys watch live sports, but sports announcers, they were a majority of men. But recently, I've seen a lot more women announcing football games, basketball games, refereeing even. Um, but with that comes like a negative connotation. I think a lot of comments that I heard for, from people that I know and people that I don't know have been, you know, like, it's just not the same with the woman. Well, why not? They're saying the same thing a man would. They're doing the same thing a man would. So I don't, I just think it's that barrier that we have to break. Personally, for me, yes. I know it might not seem like a big deal, but my big brother and my little brother are playing around. They're like, exclude me because I'm a girl. And, you know, I can't do what they're doing because I'm a girl and I'm not a boy. So sometimes I feel left out because I'm a girl and it makes me feel upset. Because, you know, like, I want to hang out with my brothers without having to be judged just because I'm a girl. Annalise, I had the same issue growing up with three brothers. And I think that might relate to what you were saying earlier about, you know, getting com being comfortable when you get dressed. It's, you know, if you're if you're around we're brothers all of the time, you're trying to prove yourself to them. But at the same time, you're trying to prove yourself to the world, you know, that you are who you are. And just don't alter that because of who you're with, you know be yourself they should accept you and I also think they're just playing around with you because they are your brothers do you think us women deserve to get assaulted in the way that we do oh my gosh no never assault um but I think that this is a cool opportunity to talk about um what's appropriate language and what's not and as um humans we have to be careful about the words we use um with anyone right male female um, and every single human is entitled to their personal space. So, and COVID has definitely taught us that, right? Um, but ideally you want to be, um, aware if someone is mistreating you or saying mean things to you and you can, um, make sure to tell an adult or write it down. Um, and just make sure that um, we're creating a safe environment for everyone. I'm going to say that is a great question because I mean, it is sad. You see in the news, you know, those people and it's highlighted in the news and you see it and you think, wow, that's absolutely awful. But I also take the news with a grain of salt. You know, yes, they report on the negatives, but they don't tell you all the great things that happen every day to women. You know, there's a lot of great things that happen. Um, and just to really know what to do if you are ever put in that situation. And Brenda has the last question. Should women work for equal rights? I think everybody should work for equal rights. I mean, I, I feel like we, we could separate the genders, but I feel like men should also be supporting women's rights and vice versa. Like with all of the movements that happen, I, I think it's, it's more of a cohesiveness when we all come together and we all try to fight for what we know is right. Just continue to be consistent and grateful. Um, and honestly, we do create the future. It's up to us. So if there's something that you don't feel is fair or you don't like, you, you don't think it's just, fight for it. No one is stopping you. Stand up for yourself. Thank you, Ms. Grimes and Ms. Cooper for joining us today. 
We really loved having you here. Your thoughts were really appreciated. For all of us here at Citizen Talks, we'll see you next time.